Welcome back to Warrington Filming, Painting and Decorating, Trade Secrets, the videos they don't want you to see. Hosted by yours truly, The Candleman. Hi you guys and welcome back to Warrington Filming, Painting and Decorating, Trade Secrets. And today I'm going to do, start doing a video on a little project that I've got going. I'm in this little cottage in the middle of nowhere and it's about a 300 year old cottage so you can imagine. I've got all thing, all sorts of things like, you know, horse hair walls, uh, paper falling off here, plasterboarding I need to do with a bit of skimming, skirting board to fit, your general painting, bit of wallpapering. And uh, I don't know whether you can uh, see it, but got some tiles here. I'll show you a bit of a close up in a minute. Some tiles on here with about over an inch of concrete behind them. Now I'm hoping that's not really stuck quite well. And uh, I've never seen it done like this before, but uh, must be a method behind the madness for some reason. And no, I'm not sitting on this toilet having a shit. So. I just need to sit on here so you can see me. So yeah, restoration project in a 300 year old cottage in the middle of nowhere and I've got all sorts of bits and bobs to do in here. Now although it's a small job, um, there's, there's a lot of making good I've got to do in here and it'll probably take me a good few days at least. Plasterboard and a bit of plastering a lot and I'm just going to show you uh, in this video I'm going to show you me going through each procedure uh, not not in a great depth obviously but just show you it from start to finish and the bits and bobs I have to do so yeah it should be quite interesting it makes a different makes a change from the old house bashing which is a load of crap in it let's face it you know what I mean I'd rather be stuck in this house uh, doing this and uh, have cups of tea on tap and the odd bacon sauna when I need it, lovely, and it's warm as well, and I've got electric, what more can you ask for at the end of the day, so yeah, let me just give you a bit of a close up of the inside of this toilet, and uh, show you what I'm up against, and uh, hope you enjoy this video, so let me show you what I've got to put up, what I've got to do. Right then guys, here we are, here's the toilet, we've got an old tin or metal or whatever uh, system there and I've got to watch that water pipe going down there because like there's no stop valve and if that leaks I've got a big problem but anyway here's the tiles I'm talking about check them out mate look tiles on top of concrete yeah this is gonna be fun isn't it hey look at that I don't know what's gonna be behind that there's about an inch of concrete and some crabby tiles on it so I've got to rip all that off. So that'll be fun. I'm just hoping it just drops off. And we've got stuff like, you know, loose paper, I've got to sort all that out. Now I've got to repaper this in some sort of fresco or something. Then we've got all this hard board here. I'm going to replace that with some plasterboard. And uh, same on this ceiling here. I put a new bit of plasterboard up there, and above that wood is just uh, like a lead flat roof. Yeah, windows obviously going to have to be painted as well. And same with this here; that's all going to come off. And this wall here is actually like I don't know horsehair or something. So I've been told that's what I used to use in uh, the 1700s. Uh, so yeah, that's basically what it looks like, just about, um, you know, some woodwork to paint there, here's the old house look, hey. oh look, there's my chocolate, awesome, got that off Amazon, <laughs> so yeah, there you go, there it is, so I'm just going to start by chopping a few of these tiles off, so you can just watch me take a few off. 
Shut on. Here, let's get something done. Right. Now, if it all comes off like that, I'll be laughing, won't I? Check this baby out. Look at that. On a job like this, you've just really, you've got to take your time. Look at that, hey. Can't believe anybody would put tiles on like that, would you? Oh. Madness. Absolute madness. Makes you wonder what some people were thinking about. And these have been on here for like 50 odd years at least. <laughs> I'm glad I ain't got to get rid of the rubbish. Sorry. It's all right while it's coming off easy, but I think I'll get a bit of Right guys, as you've just seen, just pulled all these tiles off on this side and the wallpaper and everything. And uh, like I said, this particular wall here is like really old. So I'm just going to show you what it's made out of. There you go. Check that out. Look. Made out of straw and sand and cement or something. That's what you get with a 300 year old cottage. And I've got to be really careful at that pipe down there. As you can see on that. Uh, got to really watch that water pipe because it's not even a service valve or anything. <laughs> or as I've just been told, it's called a penny valve. Never heard that before. Always thought it was a service valve, but there you go. So yeah, that's what all that wall's made out of there. Like straw and sand and cement or something. So, as, you, as I'm saying, you know, stage by stage video of my progress in here. Uh, I've just got to check that back bit. Back. Just got to check that uh, back bit of tiles off now. You know, and as you can see, same sort of thing. So I'm just going to check that off. Right, I'm just going to take this off before I have my tea break. I just want to see what's behind it. This has got actually got to be replaced with a plasterboard, so. Some shit behind it by the looks of it.
interested. Get yeah, closer for this in a minute. Might have to get a bit of a oh, that looks like a bit of tin. It is. thing is with these old properties you've really got to be careful because you can remove one thing and end up having to replace something else if you go at it too mad so as you can see I mean I've got to replace that with new plasterboard and God knows how, how many years old this bit of timber is but it seems okay I think it's okay for screwing plasterboard on but when it comes to this you see well, that would just yank it off so I need to get saw on that really you know what I mean? so I'll get back to you when I've took all that off I think I think this bare board's got to come off as well to be fair Right oh, then, as you can see, look at that. That's like ten. This is this is like a bit of a dormer window on the outside, so I'm assuming it's got lead on the other side or something somewhere. But yeah, I'll go outside and have a look at this window in a minute. I'll just give, give you a bit of a video on what it looks like on the outside as well. I think. But that's gonna have new plasterboard on there. But that bit of hard board there. I'm going to cut that away because you've just got to watch what you yank away in these old buildings otherwise you can just give yourself more problems so before after right guys as you can see there it is there's that window in that little toilet I'm doing so you know it's all leaded as you can see but on the other side where I've actually just pulled that uh, all board off I don't know what the crack is there because it's only exposed on one side but uh, yeah this is what I'm dealing with the old uh, cottage yeah. there it is in the toilet This is where I'm working. The old cottage, look. About 300 odd years old, this place, just can't believe it, can't Awesome. This is the kind of work you want to be doing. As long as you get paid the right money, you're happy. A lot more enjoyable, more interesting. Better than now, right. uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you a little project that I did a few years ago. A little bathroom I did and uh, did a bit of tiling in it and boxing in and bath panel and stuff. So, yeah, I just thought I'd show you uh, this little bit of a bathroom. You might oh, enjoy. Nice little bathroom, look. I fitted all that um, bath panel on there. And it's dead small as well and the guy who owns the house is about seven foot summer and i don't know he must have to crouch all all the time to come in this little bathroom but yeah painted all the windows redone all that put some nice little tiles on there look at them hey beautiful there aren't they hey. well, yes i did all that tiled all that 
down here. Oh, oh no. There's my cupboard. A few little tiles on there, the den. All that boxing in I did. Well, awesome, isn't it? Yeah. Another one of my little projects. I was in here for about over a week though. Oh, and that little bit of boxing in. I made a good job of that, didn't I? Yeah, I thought you'd like it. Just a little project I did a few years ago. Restoring this bathroom, putting the tiles around and everything. So, just thought I'd add that to the video. And I've just got to show you this, right? See this bit on the stairs here? This. See all this, look. This apparently used to be a little place hundreds of years ago where they used to hide the priests down in the cellar. So I'm just going to show you. Hopefully I won't fall down these steps. A bit haunted, doesn't it? But you see that little wall down there. Apparently, hundreds of years ago, when there was something going on with Christianity, they used to hide some some priests who were pre uh, preaching Christianity or something. I don't, I don't know. So I was told, and they used to come down here and sit on that bench down there. So yeah, scary. You can imagine, can't you? Look at that. Look. Awesome. So I'd share you I'd share that with you. Why the owner's not here, because I might not be happy if they find me down here. But yeah, look. But yeah, apparently they used to hide some priest down here or something. I don't know how true it is. And there you go, look. There's your the, where you seen the door in that cellar as we're walking up the steps. There's the other side of it, look. Door's been hidden. <laughs> Interesting, eh? Painting and decorating, life by. Right then, I'm in the workshop of uh, this little cottage, and it's basically this workshop by the size of a house. But uh, the reason I'm in here, I've got one piece of plasterboard here, and I'm just going to cut uh, the plasterboard to fit them corner bits that you've just seen. Right, so basically, I've drawn the line, measured it out. I'm just going to run the Stanley knife across the pencil line which I've measured. Just cut down there like that, you see? Dead even. There's my angle, you see? And then just run the standing knife down the back. if you blame sure. Where's that? Get that uh, get that angle for that. Right then I have actually ripped all that plasterboard off the top there and I've cut that one as you've seen and done that angle down there and put a put an angle bead on it. So that's near enough ready for skimming over. 
So I'm just going to cut the other one and get that fitted on there. And uh, as you can see there, all them tiles are off and I did that without damaging that cold water pipe which was a bit of a concern for the owner but not a problem done so yeah so basically what I'm going to do is repeat that process over there and put a sheet of plasterboard around that possibly around that window and above there and I'm just going to have a cup of tea now because I've only had two cups this morning and I'm gasping so tea time for the candleman.